tutorial starts with a song, but it's only a few seconds long. Let's get started with animation. Hi folks, we're living in exciting times. We're currently in May 2021 and there are three major developments currently in the animation industry. One is Substance Alchemist. It uses artificial intelligence in order to create amazing textures. I did several tutorials about uh, Alchemist and it's built into Maya now quite nicely. Second thing is motion capturing. Motion capturing used to have big studios and um, with um, sensors built into the suits of the actors and actresses and uh, the motion was tracked from, from um, cameras basically covered all over the room. The new technology, which is quite affordable now, has a suit and gloves, for example, and facial sensors, for example, which allow you to create your own character animation at home. You typically would have that suit with a built-in motion detection sensors and uh, deliver all these data of your motion into Maya. Of course, you need to clean up the motion capture data, which is a totally different process, which is a little bit easier than it was five years ago, but it still is some work and you have to deal with the skeletons which come with that motion capture environment because the character animation module in Maya is a little bit different from the skeletons which come as an import into Maya. And the third development is the most recent one and as I said we're in May 2021 and the most recent one is the MetaHuman project by Epic Games. And uh, the speciality here is that they're super realistic. They're amazingly realistic. Even the hair acts to uh, reacts to gravity and um, motion. Uh, it is just a breakthrough in terms of realism in character animation. And the since the Unreal game engine belongs to Epic Games, this process to export from the Meta Human project into the Unreal Engine to create a computer game is pretty straightforward. Once you have that super realistic character in Unity, you have to animate the character. That's a different story and you might actually use motion capture data from the suits which I just described earlier. But the MetaHuman project offers a plugin for Maya and you can export the characters from there to Maya. Once they land in Maya, they are basically naked. They lose their clothes and they lose their hair. So much of the charm is gone after this import. And the import is quite a tedious process because uh, you need the Quixel engine or Quixel bridge in order to, well, sort of move it into Maya, you need to have Maya open. It is all online, so every little step you take is being noticed by people you don't know, by Epic Games in this uh, context, I think. And uh, this is, uh, I mean, this is new to technology, so I can understand it, um, that they need this complex flow of information, but uh, it won't be like this forever. Anyway, number one, amazing textures using artificial intelligence, breakthrough in affordable motion capture suits and equipment, and the metahumans, excellent realistic characters, but not well integrated into the rest of the software world. A good attempt to integrate it into Maya, but many things are coming up in the near future. And with this, I wish you a very creative day. Bye-bye.